1859, Charles Darwin changed the way we think about the origins of life. Instead of surging spontaneously, new species appeared through the complex process of evolution by natural selection. But what about us humans? Did we also evolve from other species more primitive than us? How did we end up being the advanced species we are today? Well, get ready to figure it out. We need to understand that our current knowledge comes from fossils available. Bones, footprints and some tools are all that remain from our oldest relatives. Our journey through the fossil record begins 15 million years ago during the Miocene period. Here the ancient Dryopithecus and Ramapithecus existed. Both of them were hairy and moved around pretty much in the same way we see gorillas and chimps moving today. However, the Dryopithecus had more ape-like features like their teeth that resemble those of chimps and their facial features pretty similar to those of gorillas. Ramapithecus showed more human-like traits, their teeth being in an intermediate state between other apes and humans. Two million years ago, these Eastern African apes existed. Zooming into Eastern Africa at that time, we can view our first bipedal ancestor, Australopithecus, and its relatives living in grasslands. The evidence is fragmentary, but we think they had a diet based on fruits, although they probably used stone weapons for hunting. During the same era, about 1.6 million years ago, we see the earliest of true humans in Tanzania. A species known as Homo habilis inhabited the grasslands of Tanzania. Its name comes from the fact that they were exceptionally good with tools more than any previous species. This makes sense as they had significantly bigger brains with their skulls showing a brain capacity of 650 to 800 cubic centimeters. These adaptations were the result of constant selective pressures, environmental hardships that favored those individuals with higher brains and hence more intelligent. Oddly enough, despite being so good with tools, evidence suggests they were not meat eaters. 1.5 million years ago, the island of Java was inhabited by Homo erectus. The fossil of this hominid was discovered in 1981. These ancestors lived on the island of Java. Homo erectus had a skull with a higher brain capacity than Homo habilis reaching a whopping 900 cubic centimeters. They were also more likely to include meat in their diet. 100,000 years ago, these hominids appeared in the Near East and Central Asia. Now we get closer to modern humans with the impressive Neanderthal man. They had brains larger than those of Homo erectus, reaching the unprecedented mark of 1400 cubic centimeters. Being this smart, they showed more complex behaviors. Evidence suggests they protected their bodies with hides and even buried their dead. They disappeared at some point 40,000 years ago. The final stage in our evolution appeared in Africa around 75,000 to 10,000 years ago. In Africa, during the Ice Age, the modern man evolved and was known as Homo sapiens. Homo sapiens have brains that average 1300 cubic centimeters. Yes, our brains are smaller than those of Neanderthals, but don't be sad, as this doesn't mean we are less intelligent. After all, our species is the one with the most complex behaviors. We developed an interest in art and other forms of abstract expression. Some prehistoric paintings date back to 18,000 years ago, like those seen at the Raisin district of Madhya Pradesh. 
oh and 10000 years ago we also developed agriculture this was huge for us because we could decide to stay in a favorable location and plant our crops essentially kickstarting human settlements and civilization itself Ramapithecus and Dryopithecus lived 15 million years ago. Ramapithecus was more human-like while Dryopithecus was more like apes. 2 million years ago, the Australopithecus appeared in the eastern African grasslands. They were small and walked upright. Homo habilis quickly followed. showing great skill with tools and a bigger brain homo erectus was the next stage appearing about 1.5 million years ago its brain was considerably bigger and was likely a meat eater the neanderthal man lived 100000 years ago in central and east asia it had a huge brain and developed complex behaviors finally Homo sapiens the modern humans appeared in Africa between 75000 to 10000 years ago Homo sapiens have high intelligence showed interest in art and developed agriculture and civilization